Okay, hello. We're gonna do part five of the video thing, um, the YouTube, the website YouTube thing. Um, we're gonna be making a table today using HTML. You can make a table. You could Google how to make a table pretty easily. It's very simple. But since we do have a really important table on the CV website that needs updating throughout the year, it's really important you know how, how to do it. Um, so I'm gonna show you first what that table is. So let's go on the CV website. I'm on the club's portal under club resources under reservation. This is the table. It has all the information about uh, room booking and table bookings for student clubs, and the University of Ottawa department that manages this uh, all the service is CNR. And sometimes they let us know about updates um, that we need to make to this table, and then, so you need to know how to make those updates. Um, so, if, for example, like if, uh, if 15 changed to 20 bookings per semester, you need to be able to know how to change that. Um, so we're going to make a table that looks a lot like this one, but a lot simpler, a lot less stuff on it. So let's do that really quickly. I'm gonna go to edit. I'm not gonna add a new page. I'm just gonna add a section just cause it's easier to do that. If I add a new page, I have to worry about the bilingualism aspect. So we added a new page. So I'm gonna say this is a, the text box already there. This is a table that will have some clubs. Okay. I'm gonna add a code block. So we're gonna do a code. It is HTML that we're doing here. Um, I'll make this a little bigger for us to see better. Uh, okay, so first we add is open alligator bracket, table, close alligator bracket. This is what our table is going to be. Um, then we need to add um, headings as well. So to add headings, it's just um, uh, so first we need to add a row, and that row will be our heading. So let's add a row first. So adding a row is just alligator bracket, tr, close alligator bracket, adds the second part on its own. So that's our, that's our first row. And then to add a heading to our um, table, it's a alligator bracket, TH, table heading, close alligator bracket. I'm not gonna enter that just to make it look nicer. And our table heading, let's say it's club name. Now if I close this, you'll see that we have club name on there. Then I'm gonna add another heading, table heading. So enter in that same row. So we're still in the TR, this is where it ends. TH, again, let's say club email. Close that. There we go. We have club email. It obviously doesn't look that great, so we're going to fix that in, in, in a second. So club email. Then we're going to add, let's say, is this club real or not? Um, okay, and then we have our third table heading. Obviously looks horrendous, but we're going to work on that. Then we're going to add another row. These are not going to be headings, but same thing. TR, table row. And now enter, enter, because there's a bunch of stuff in there. And then to add um, a, a column that's not a heading, we do TD. I'm not sure what the D stands for, but there it is. So club name, let's say I have the Davin Club or something. Um, and then, so this is the first column that's gonna align with this thing. So they're kind of linked in order of how you put them. So the next one is club email. So I'm going to add, let's say, I'm just gonna make a fake email, davinclub.gmail.com. Um, then I'm going to add another one for, is this club real or not? Um, was real at some point. Okay, so if I close that, you'll see that happen. So our table's kind of coming together. This matched with this, this matched with this, this matched with this. So that's great. I'm gonna add, let's say, two more clubs or something. So TR for another row. So that means another club essentially. Um, on this, this would be one row right here. Then this would be another row, if you get, if you get what I'm trying to say. Um, then TD again. Let's say noodle club, alligator bracket TD, close alligator bracket, noodle club at gmail.com. Again, TD um, was also real at some point. Then I'm going to add one more TR for new row. Then their first column in all of our rows is club name. So this will be, I don't know, like um, you ought to sleep. Uh, the TD again for club email. Then TD again for should be real. Okay, now if I close this, we have our three clubs and our table headings. So this doesn't look that great, so we're gonna fix that now. Uh, so remember when, in the last tutorial, to, to fix this, how things look, we edit CSS, so style. So open alligator bracket style close alligator bracket, there we go. Now we can edit how things look. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the table 
um, is the full width of the page so that it spreads out essentially. So I'm gonna do that. So let's say I'm gonna do table, open alligator bracket, close alligator bracket. Now everything I do in here affects the entire table. So I'm gonna say width 100%. It closes, it should. There you go. So that's great. A lot better than before. Not exactly what we're looking for just yet. Um, then I'm going to add a, um, I'm going to add a border to everything. So I want to edit table. I want to edit, co so comma, I want to edit table headings, comma again, and TD, which are the columns. So I'm going to edit all three. So I can put all three of them with comma separating them, open, curly bracket, close, curly bracket. And I'm going to add a border. To add a border, you need to first specify its width. So let's say one pixel. And then without anything, just a space, you need to identify its like type. Um, you can have solid, dashed, I'm going to say solid and then the color, so let's just say black. And again, there's no like separate, it's just spaced out. And then semicolon, if I do that, it should add a border. Okay, that's nice. Um, then I want to, so I don't like how the club name is centered and Davin Club is on the left, so I cut, and then on this one, see how everything's on the left, so I'm gonna make it to the left. But I'm only gonna edit the table heading and the table column, um, which is TD. So I'm gonna say uh, text align left. So that should align the table headings and all the stuff to the left, which it does. Wonderful. I'm going to add some padding as well, maybe, to because I think it's way too close to the border there. So let's say I add a padding of 15 pixels. Um, okay, that's much better. Kind of spaced out better. Um, now we're going to do an interesting thing. So you can see here, this looks a lot better because of the, like, the alternating color. So I'm going to quickly add that as well. So that's... It's kind of more complicated, but the way to do it is you need to give your table an ID and I'm going to reference that ID. So you go back to your table outside the style tag and you just inside before this closing curly bracket, you add ID equals I'm going to be like T01 for table one. Um, so that's our table ID now. Um, and now we can do stuff with that ID. So what I'm going to do is when you have an ID, you in CSS and the style tag, you reference it by hashtag T01 right and then you do table row nth child so we're going to find nth just means like incrementing uh references in that id in table so like every table row is going to be looked at basically and we're only going to get the even like the only even number of table rows so for example this will be like table row number one right here this will be table row number two this will be table row number three and four this is only going to reference the ones that are even is what I'm trying to say essentially. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then we're gonna change the background color to gray. Gray's uh, code is uh, hashtag EEE. -E -E. And then close. And there you go. You have a nice table. Um, one thing that I'm just gonna add just to help us understand the last thing we just did, I'm gonna add another ID. So hashtag T01, TR, table row, nth child. So find all of them. Odd. I'm going to make the background color, let's say, um, we can make it, it is white and I kind of want it to be white, so, but let's say I make it red. So if I just write red, let's write red, it's going to look terrible, but there it is. I'm going to change it back to white, which I could just do by writing white as well. I mean, it already is white, but it's actually great because if you paste this table to somewhere else on a website and the background isn't white, it'll stay white. So there we go, that's how you make a table uh, using CSS and HTML. We need to modify this table, you open it up, you find a code that looks very similar to what we just wrote, um, and you can find out what's happening. If you might need, you might need to add another row at the bottom, add another heading, add another column, that kind of thing. Now you'll be able to know how to do that. Okay, that's it for this one, and uh, the next one will come in a few days.